Okay, and possibly the, the last and most efficient is the formal column subtraction method. Uh, for this we will be needing to exchange as well. Uh, so I'm going to use a one colour pen. So here I can see the 8 is bigger than the 6, which means I'm going to be exchanging a 10 from there. So that's going to be a 40. So I've got 16 taking away 8, which obviously gives me 8. Now I've got 40 take away 70. Again, that 7 is too big. So I'm going to need to exchange from my hundreds. So I'm going to exchange just like that, turn that, taking a hundred, which is ten tens, and add it into the ten column. So now I've got fourteen tens. So fourteen tens take away seven tens, leaves me with seven tens. I've got 700 taking away 300, which leaves me with 400, like so. Uh, I've done these in different colours, so you can see when I've exchanged where it goes. So this one, when I've exchanged this one, comes over here. 